to be patient, one of the things. Um, one of the, I always say to them as well, the non-resident parents in particular, if they're, if they're going for contact at just say on a Saturday each week and they're only going to get a couple of hours each week, a lot of them spend the rest of their week either getting drunk, dealing with some of their problems, some of them will sit there getting stressed out and they'll spend the rest of their week focused on just that one day that they're trying to go for, which in some senses that's cool that they are doing that. But in other ways, I always say to them, you know, you've still got your own life and the best way you can be there for your son um, or your, your daughter is to actually be a role model for them where you are actually progressing in your own personal life because you're not with the mum anymore. You're just, you know, you're, you've just got yourself to look after now and, um, and your boy. So I always try and pass that on to them, focus on themselves, because that's what's done me once. I mean, I've, I've done, been doing training um, for years now in different areas and I've got so much out of it and self-development's been a great thing. And I've got built a great relationship with my son because I feel quite patient, quite relaxed, and I've worked on those issues myself. Get counselling if you need it, if you're really struggling. Um, but focus on personally what is actually affecting you instead of attacking everyone out there and thinking that the whole world's against you because I tried that and you're always going to be fighting a lost cause um, because none of them are going to sit there and say yeah we are fighting against you it's just, just attitudes so accept them move on from them as much as you can and concentrate focus on yourself